Welcome to the Abundology Podcast, everyone. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from a picture-perfect day in Bozeman, Montana, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of May 21st, 2023. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. So if you're a longtime listener, you'll notice that the intro is slightly different. It's because it's time for change. We're new people after the last couple months, and it's time to level up and move forward. So today is the first day of Gemini season, so adios Taurus season. Holy shit, that was one life-changing month. You know, just a couple of eclipses and a Mercury retrograde, no biggie. Except that it was a biggie. And I just keep thinking, thank goodness it all happened during Taurus season because that really helped ground us during all of it. And now we're back to reality. Eclipse season is fully over and life becomes a little bit more predictable. And while there's still maybe bumps on the road, like there always are, we start to feel more optimistic. Gemini season is finally here. And it's all about the F words, fun, flirting, and well, you know the other one. It's the final zodiac season of spring that brings us to the summer solstice on June 21st. We're soaking up the last days of spring and we're ramping up for summer. So two days ago on Friday, we had that new moon in Taurus, which was all about new beginnings and planting seeds. And now those seeds are starting to grow. So Gemini energy is all about speeding things up. Energetically, we start to feel more outgoing. We want to go out with our friends and have fun. Our inner social butterflies are officially emerging from their cocoons and they're ready to explore the world. So Gemini is represented by the twins. One twin is mortal, the other immortal, representing both our body and our soul. The mortal twin is our reminder that life is temporary and we're here for a physical experience. Whereas the immortal twin reminds us that our soul is forever and that we're also spiritual beings. So Gemini teaches us to embrace both our human side and our soul equally to be our full selves. Gemini season helps us balance the two and get back in balance after the wild ride we've experienced the past few months. So take some time to think about where you're out of balance. This is the month to focus on figuring out your new normal and to embody it before the solstice and summer get here. So getting back in balance right now requires us to lighten the fuck up and have some fun. Geminis don't take themselves too seriously. They love to laugh and have fun. So it's time to shake off the fuddy-duddy and embrace the new. Learn new things, do new things, including spiritual things. This is the time to expand your consciousness into new territories. I'm talking meditation and yoga retreats, maybe do some mushrooms, learn how to read tarot cards. Lighten up in all ways, including what you're eating. So the summer is ruled by the Pitta Dosha and Ayurveda. So we wanna balance the fire within us with cool and light foods. So eat less fried food, less meat, coffee, and alcohol and meet more fresh veggies, watermelon, cucumbers, and coconut water. So Gemini season is also a great time to lose weight, especially this year because we've had some heavy energies lately. And to hold those energies, you may have put on a little bit of weight. So if you've been wanting to drop a few pounds, this is the time because it's easier right now. The energies are lighter, which makes it easier. So we get some help moving forward and getting our projects off the ground today, on Sunday, when Mars enters Leo. When Mars, the planet of power and action and momentum, enters the creative and enthusiastic sign of Leo, there is no stopping us. We get a major boost of self-confidence, and we're also more determined and optimistic. So Mars and Leo is the burst of energy that we have been waiting for. We're motivated finally to go after our goals and to move forward. Things just come easier with this energy. So we've had some new realizations and aha moments about how we want to live our lives differently. And now 
we get a boost of energy to help us live the changes, to live the updated versions of ourselves, and also the confidence we need to make those changes. So this might show up in some expected way, ways, like maybe you get a new hairstyle or you change your wardrobe, but it also may show up as a leveling up of our businesses, like I'm doing, starting a new job, a new love relationship, or for many of us, a deeper spiritual connection and spiritual practice. So Mars and Leo encourages us to be unapologetically true to ourselves, true to our spiritual selves. This energy helps you own your intuition and trust your intuitive hits and any downloads that you may get. We're feeling brave and confident to own our full selves, our powerful human side, and our higher connected spiritual side. We're both. And Gemini season is about stepping fully into both, using all of our power so we can live these new, up-leveled, empowered versions of ourselves. So one word of caution, you may feel so much energy to get moving that you could overdo it and burn out, possibility. So remember, there's plenty of time. We're at the very, very beginning of the next chapter. Also during Gemini season, there's an increased focus on our minds, which can be fabulous because we have clarity and all of these aha moments. But also, (laughs) we could find ourselves overthinking things and maybe feeling a little impatient because things aren't happening fast enough. So remember that Jupiter entered Taurus just about a week ago, and that energy was about planting seeds. And then two days ago, we had the new moon in Taurus, Once again, about new beginnings and things starting to grow. So now Gemini season is here and Mars and Leo are here. They're all here to really get things moving. And I know I say this every week, but I'm always amazed at how divinely orchestrated all of this is, that everything is conspiring in our favor for our highest good. So happy Gemini season. I'm a Gemini, sun in Gemini and moon in Gemini. So this is my energy. So welcome to my world. You get a a month of Renee Spears energy. So as always, thank you for listening and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it or tagging a friend. This is the first podcast that will be posted on social media, on Instagram and Facebook. So I am fully stepping into my business and launching my new spiritual practices in the next couple weeks. And this is just the first steps. First step, excuse me, baby steps, right? So if you do feel like you need some clarity about what's going on now in your soul path, I have some openings this week. So you can schedule an appointment with me at abundology.com and I'll also put a link in the show notes. So have a wonderful week full of the four Fs and I will talk to you again next week.